This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. We're excited to announce that IT Pro TV is now IT Pro, acquired by ACI Learning. Together with their combined expertise and capabilities, they are the go-to training provider for all things technology and information management. Visit ACILearning.com and let ACI power up your IT team. I'm going to now throw you to the other side of the studio. What? Over to Radio Corner, where Micah has got a little demo for us. What you got there, Micah? Yeah, so Khan has written in, says, Hello from Stockholm, Sweden. Really enjoying the new show. I was wondering if you could help me with recovering my data from an iPhone backup. A few years ago, I messed up my iPhone, uh, but I have a backup file on my Mac. I don't have an iPhone anymore, but I would like to recover whatever it is in that backup file. There may be some photos on there of my late father that I just realized oh. are not in my iCloud backup. The photos are very important, as these were the last photos I took took before he passed away in the first wave of COVID. Oh. So sorry, Con. Uh, can you recommend a good recovery software that I can use? And Con, yes, I can. So um, we've talked a lot about this application on the show before, and I'm actually using a, a demo version of it here. Uh, I've, uh, this is iMazing. And as you can see, I don't have it licensed on this machine, uh, although I do have a license on other machines. Um, but I wanted to show what you can do without that. So right now I have an iPad plugged in uh, and so it is connected and I did a backup. But what I can do to show you that you don't need to have the device itself is I can unplug this. And so now the iPad is not plugged in anymore, but because I did a backup to this machine, I will click in the top right corner here where I can see the different backups that have taken place. And earlier today, I did this backup and I've already clicked to view this backup. So what is brought up here are all of these options. Here on the left, I can see the photos, the messages, the phone calls, uh, what's going on with Safari, even as far down as looking at the file system. So I can click on, and I will click on file system here, and it's going to go into the backup that was just done and show me some of the stuff that was stored in this uh, actual iPad backup. Now, you've got different options here uh, to kind of dig in. You know, you, you've got to play around a little bit because depending on how old your uh, iPhone is and how old the operating system is on it, these folders are going to be named differently. But typically, you can find what you're looking for in the apps section or uh, in some of these app group sections. The easier way to do this is instead of using the file system, you could just simply click on photos here and then it will load those photos and you will be able to click to open any of these and export them right to your Mac. Uh, as long as these the backup is stored in the default location, you will have this stuff pop up automatically. If it's not stored in the default location, iMazing has an option for you in the settings to choose where these devices are backing up and that will give you the ability to choose and so, so you can see here default library location uh, as well as the backup here and the default location for that backup. So then it will look in those places you can add wherever you've got your backup stored. It'll pop it open right here and immediately you can export everything as a folder, export all of the data from the device, even export the raw files if you want to, or simply show in Finder, meaning that it will pop open that uh, backup file in Finder. You'll be able to click inside and get to those photos that you're looking for. So uh, amazing, incredible. Uh, I, as I said, this is just the free version. So you are able to do a lot with uh, the trial uh, within, I think it's the first 14 days. Uh, so give iMazing a shot and see if that works for you to be able to get that backup right off of your uh, machine and get into it. I use this tool all the time for doing complete backups of my devices. Um, one of the things that makes this different from what we have standard, because I could take this iPad and plug it in and in the Finder, I can do a backup. But the problem with that is I only have so much so much storage on this computer, right? And if I want to do a full backup of my iPhone, which has a lot of storage space, I need a place to put it. So I can actually back up to my network attached storage directly and keep that off of my main machine. So very handy and all encompassing. There's a lot that you can do with iMazing, but the simple uh, feature there is to dig into that backup that you made, get those photos off and uh, you'll be good to go. So thank you for that question, Con. You convinced me long ago to buy 
amazing. And I never uh, looked back, never regretted it. Can you, though, I'm curious, still back up your iPhone to your computer if I hook it up uh, on a Mac? Mm -hmm. uh, can I still just make a, I can just still can, make a backup? Yeah, right? you can absolutely do yeah. a normal backup. In fact, iAmazing, that's a great thing about it, is that most of the time it is doing the standard backup oh, that, interesting. that Apple already does. Oh. It's just, it knows how to get into those backups. And yeah, otherwise you can't, normally you can't look at it. Correct. So iAmazing is really just an interface to that. Absolutely. Yeah, interesting. <laughs>